Well, the two honestly, and again, we'll just kind of we'll end up revisiting it anyways. But uh, first bit of news: they signed Jesper Wallstedt to a two-year deal. Um, so just get the fear of an offer sheet next summer out of the way. Two point two million that kicks in after this year, right? Yeah. Um, so again, buy him time. Again, avoid the offer sheet. And in theory, you know, I think everyone's of the on the same page that if they didn't have, like, if he were to when he plays, he's going to play games this year. He's probably going to play. A, decent amount of games this year because he's going to be they are bringing three goalies on that on the roster um they are we'll see i mean if he's like a backup making 2.2 next year or i mean who knows maybe he overtake well actually at this point who knows what the fuck's gonna happen this year with the wild the gold said with flurry and gusterson we'll see um but either way i'm i saw i was just checking and of course, the first fucking reaction I see is someone pitching, "How is he getting two point two million dollars already?" And it's like, well, technically he's not. Uh, that kicks in next year, you know. But again, my big thing is you avoid the fear of an offer sheet, which was apparently a pretty legit possibility. So that's great. I, I think that's concerning if it's that big of an issue, though, because offer sheets only happen if the player signs it. Like. Where are we at that we're worried Wallstead's going to go do that before talking to the team to renegotiate? I don't know. That seems weird that we're that worried about it, but okay. Yeah, I mean, again, I think for me, you just eliminate that headache altogether. I, I like it as a fan. I just, if that's the mentality of the organization, it's like, uh, okay. I, I would, I mean, I would, I, I don't know if that would necessarily like have, like, drive any kind of like, have any influence about like the numbers or anything, but I'd imagine just getting the contract signed right now again, more than anything. And I mean, like we'll see again, who knows what's going to happen this year with Flurry and Gustafson. Um, Cause I mean, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility where like one or both of them shits the bed wall step steps in and they just ride the hot hand. That's a, that possibility. Like, that's a better reason. Um, if you're afraid that he's going to torch this year and you don't want to have to pay him off of that, that's a good reason to get the deal done right now. Yeah. So again, like there's, there's, I mean, there's a few, but my, my, the first thing I, cause we talked about this before when the, uh, those two offer sheets happened this summer, it was like, Oh, there's a lot of chat about a more offer sheets and specifically yes for walls debt, which is like, God damn it. We were so close to just not having everything be about Minnesota. Um, but yeah, I mean, so there's a few, things to at least uh think about with the, the wall set thing so again i'm happy that it's out of the way it's done for now you kick the can a couple of years down the road um then ideally again he gets a decent amount of games this year and if he's making 2.2 playing like a like double that in terms of what he's worth like how yeah. he plays this year and that's great um I, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked by the the details of the deal to be honest two i just i didn't look at like, how is it not a four by four with a no move? I, I didn't, I didn't know they had any of. I didn't know that there was a lot. I thought it was just the Billy G special, baby, uh, for everybody, including us. Uh, but for us, it's four dollars uh, that we pay them to not get thrown out of the arena. Um, but pretty good deal. The other, the other bit of news here that's kind of annoying i'm curious to see how it goes and again who knows with how this fucking team works and how injuries pop up but liam ogren's made the team <laughs> he is that is not what i thought you were going to go to but okay there's another yeah, no, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there is but I'm just... but yeah that so what do we know what his status is like where is he going to play i mean like <laughs> that's the I have no idea because I think the preseason showed that your fourth line left wing ideally is going to be Jakob Lauko, who's now can be your 4C. And I mean, ideally, Freddie Goodrow's there, the fourth line, which is like a pretty fun fourth line. Uh, yeah. And if Boldy's healthy again and he's ready to rock game one, dude, is Ogren really going to be a 13 forward watching the press box? I think it's crazy. Like That but, bothers you know, me, but quick pause button. Uh, cause you'll, you'll love this. So 
there's clearly a good uh, overlap between the Jakob Lauko interests and uh, the subject matter, or at least the uh, naming convention of Fellowship of the Rank. It's absolutely it. It is weird and wild at the same time. We're going to get Faber on the show before him because there is a waiting list for people that want to interview Lauko. <laughs> yeah, baby. Like, Lauko is more in demand than Faber. It, that blew my mind. <laughs> I, so this has That's happened awesome. a few this, this has happened a few times where trades have happened between Boston and Minnesota, and there's been times where it's been a player that I like in Boston going to Minnesota, and I get like I'm like, oh great, I don't have to like completely like lose this player. I get to keep watching him all the time. Jakob Lauko is very high at the top of that list for me of like wow. I love that he's now in Minnesota because like I told you when that trade happened, like his personality is so perfect. And the way that he plays in his role is so perfect for this team. And just like, he's going to be, he's already a fan favorite at this point. So I love that now he has a list of people <laughs> that he's interviewed. And you're going to get a favor before there's less. Time yeah. Hey, yeah, sorry. Lauko's busy, but we can, we can give you this favor guy. Like what? I don't How know if you ever heard sense? of him. I don't know if you heard him. He did go to Minnesota, though, you know, so it's you guys might have heard of him, too, but True. I love that. He is the best. God damn it. Um, so that rules. But yeah, so back I, to the, I, back I, to the to part. I don't know. That. I had to. <laughs> yeah. So, again, the thing where I'm not really I mean, I'm not even going to say I'm sad. I'm just like confused. Uh, I guess Russo wrote something about this. I haven't read yet. I think he like literally published it an hour or two ago. So um, so I'll get to it in a but, week. Yeah, I'll get to it uh, next offseason, um, knowing me. Uh, but I'm just confused, I guess, more than anything. I mean, we'll see what happens for the first few games here, but or, I don't or love the idea. Oh, we're just us. watching the press box. Or someone's hurt and they're not telling us. Right. That's the only way that I'm okay with it. Yeah. But I I take more personal issue with the other – strange ordeal do you know what i'm getting at no nope. did you see what the blue line depth chart looks like mm -mm. i don't know if i want to break the news to you uh someone whose name rhymes with mon Gerald is definitely in and yeah. my boy is out yeah i mean I wouldn't say that I'm super shocked by that because, I mean, even, again, listening to Russo talk about it, like, even he's pretty firm on the fact that, like, either him getting waived or finding some way of making a trade happen, I guess, is definitely in the cards. I have no idea. I, again, I have a feeling there's going to be some really weird moves in the first few weeks of the season. I don't know why, but it's just like, because this roster is so fucking weird. Uh, and again, the one that really throws me off the most is the fact that Ogren's probably going to be sitting in the press box for at least a couple of games here to start instead of playing in Iowa, which that's what I have a problem with. But um, I mean, again, who knows what's going to happen the first few weeks of the season if it stays like this. It's <laughs> not. I have then I'm beyond confused, I guess. Uh, yeah, but like it, it can't. If they really are serious about making a playoff, like they can't do this. <laughs> Some of these decisions are just mind blowing, but whatever. We'll talk about that more when we get to the central. Yeah, all right. Well, we can end that. I'm just, yeah. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Chisholm should be the first power play guy, and he's not going to play. Sad, sad, sad. Mm -hmm.